This is our 20th time at the Sub-Zero's festival? Huh? No. The 30th? 40th? Just how many times have we been to the Sub-Zero's festival? Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Paimon remembers everything! <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey! What kind of an answer is that? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie. And the history of the whole world has just been one endless sub -Zero's festival. Okay, okay! No more! Paimon's brain is already shut down. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Huh? Uh, uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. What? That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Uh, why did you tell us? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. I'm a that the Duke Duke did that! Uh, whatever. Guess you were looking out for us after all. <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Hmm. A brilliant deduction. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. You're back! I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging by the looks on your faces, are you ready to take your sub exam and graduate from the festival? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you noticed. Uh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. <sighs> that wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you is all. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she's still... Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the sub Festival with so many regrets. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Hurry and go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical. Romantic and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end 